Simple Cafe, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey yo, you got one of these cameras or maybe one of these? Excellent. I'm going to help you get them straight to your TV. No computer transfer needed. All you need is one of these gizmos. It's an adapter. It takes the SD card from your camera and allows you to plug it into your TV's USB port. Here's a layout of just how simple it can be. And you'll find the link to this one in particular in the description. Use the link to get started to find the one that's right for you. Before you leave the video, leave me a nice little like so YouTube doesn't think you hated it. Now, the rest of the video is going to cover some good stuff to know. Since it's not a given that this is going to work on your TV, I'm going to cover three requirements, which by the way, we've already mentioned too. The adapter and not your camera, but your camera's picture storage, your SD card that is. Only these types will work with this specific adapter. And as a bonus, it also takes the micro SD cards. On the other side, just like this. Now the third and final requirement is your TV. Let's flip it and talk about the USB port. That's what matters. Yes, I'm sure that your TV has a USB port, but we got to make sure it actually plays media. Because the thing is, it could be labeled USB and that's what it is. But how do we know it's going to read our actual content from our thumb drive? The thing is, whether you knew it or not, USB on TVs has three different purposes and it may be hard to tell what yours will do when you plug in a thumb drive. That's why I already made a whole video about it. Find the link to it in the description or wait for it to pop up here at the end. In the meantime, it would be wise to verify if your TV is capable of reading thumb drives. Give it a try before you buy an adapter that is. Okay, but how can I test it if I don't have a thumb drive? Hmm, good point. Well, at the very least, check the USB port and make sure that it does not say something like service terminal or service only, etc. If it does, it's safe to assume that it's actually not going to play your content. So make sure it doesn't say that before you buy so that you don't end up with an unusable product. Actually, wait a second. It wouldn't be totally useless. A computer without an SD slot could actually take advantage of this here adapter. Because even though your computer may not have an SD slot, it's almost certain that it's going to have a USB port, right? Have a look at my ever growing channel. And by the way, I also have a channel dedicated to audio solutions called Simple Cafe Sound. I'll put a link for it in the description as well. Take care. See you around.